In today's video, I am going to be giving you my predictions on Madden 21 defense, what you need to know about how blitzing is going to work in Madden 21, what you need to know about how defense is going to work in Madden 21, because defense is more than just blitzing, and some thoughts and strategies for how you can really be most effective on the defensive side of the ball. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to help you win more games and improve in Madden 21. I do my best to try to make content that is relevant and practical for you guys. And if you have suggestions on how I could do that better, there is actually a section in my Discord that is devoted to me getting your feedback and learning from you on what you want to see. So you can throw that in that Discord section as well. And that just brings a great point. If you're not in the Discord, guys, that's the best way to stay up to date with my ebooks, my strategies. We give out a free offensive scheme every single week on my channel. And so if you want to get access to that, just, again, join that Discord. Members get a free, full scheme put together every single week um, for that. I think we're releasing our West Coast one this week. So some really, really good, um, really, really good material in that Discord. You won't want to miss it. All right, so defense. Let's talk about defense in Madden 20, and then let's talk about how it's going to change in Madden 21. Well, the first thing is the contains are going to actually work like a contain. What I mean by that is we're used to in Madden 21, or Madden 20, using contains almost like blitzers, right? They're, they almost get really glitchy blitzing. Now, gran granted, that's always been in Madden. Like literally, as long as I've been playing Madden and as long as the contains QB contain has been in the game, there has been some type of blitz that is, is based from having a contain on the field. So I don't see that going away. But what I do see happening is I see it being toned down significantly. I also don't know if it'll be the meta. And so the, all of that to say that, um, you know, it might not be, right? It might not be. Now, how that changes everything Ah, good defense by that guy. How that changes everything for us um, on the defensive side of the ball is you're going to play more coverage-based defense. You just will. I, I guarantee you it's going to be much, much more of a coverage-based season. And what I also believe from a blitzing standpoint is you are going to blitz from depth more than you have in Madden 20, right? In Madden 20, you, it was basically you want to try to stack stack everybody on the line of scrimmage, you know, and then see where the chips fall. Well, in Madden 21, what you're going to see is, I think you might even see a return to something like this pressure right here out of the 245. This was a pressure that we ran. Um, I think this was Madden 25 when this was really, really good. But there was an A-gap pressure that you could get out of that. And again, I'm not saying you're going to get A-gap pressure in Madden 21. I don't know yet. Um, from what I've seen and what I've experienced myself, I would say you're going to be wanting to run a lot more of a um, pick and choose your spots to blitz. And you're going to, and as a general rule, you're going to be running more of these looping blitzes. Looping blitzes meaning something like this where it's an overload and because in the and your 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 um, your primary rusher on the line is going to draw a double team and then you're going to be able to get the pass rush in however this is one of the thing i will say man coverage is going to be the way to go from the beginning of the gamers game it almost always is and the reason i'm going to say man coverage is because from what i've read and what i've researched and what i've seen myself the zones are not the zones are not the best. Now, again, I'm a big zone guy. I love zone because I think I can play chess with it. But zones are not going to be the best bang for your buck this year. And the reason is because the way that the game is going to play, and at least this is in the beginning, and they may fix this as the game goes on. You don't know, right? They're going to patch defense the most out of anything that they're going to do. You're going to see a lot of defensive patches. But one of the most effective tactics I'm going to say from the beginning is cover two man. And you see this in the NFL, but you're just going to go to cover two man. And I'm going to shade my guys to cover the outside. And then I'm just going to use her Jordan Lucas here over the middle. And we're just going to take away manually take away the inside. You got the deep blue safeties on the outside there. So I just need to make sure I'm doing my part. And... Maybe we still get dodged in Madden 20. It's going to be a speed thing, too. Um, abilities are going to be really, really important to figure out. But 
overall, I think man coverage is going to be in general one of the metas. What that means for defense is that means cross manning is going to be very effective. So nickel 335, this is the defense that I wrote a book on. It's the competitive bundle guide. And you can get that if you want something to really kickstart your Madden 21 uh, offense and defense. Pick up the competitive bundle guide. Um, it's my full offense and my full defense. We actually update it. Uh, for a couple more weeks here through the month through the month of August so every week in August you're gonna get a free update with that with that guide that bundle guide but um, what I'm trying to get at here is the Baltimore Ravens defense the nickel 335 wide formation and the nickel 55 formation I think you're gonna still be really effective I think you're gonna see a lot of nickel this year um, nickel 245 palms nickel 335 odd those are going to be the defenses. Um, so, like this two four five odd right here, three three five three three five wide. Like this this nickel package out of the Ravens book is going to be really effective. And I actually think you're going to see, you know, this is just my prediction that you're going to see people who are going to run a lot of nickel, but they're going to run multiple nickels within it. So they might come into pinch, like they they, they might go to this formation right here, right? Cover four drop out of this. And you'll see something like this right here. So you'll see that throughout Madden 21. I, I really believe that the nickel is going to be the way to go this year. I'll be interested to see. Dime 236, Dime 146 has been effective for years in Madden. I don't know if it's going to be effective this year. Because they are really going to overcorrect to stop those uh, contain blitzes. So it'll be interesting to see what the pressure is day one. We're gonna get in the lab and try that for you. But what I would anticipate, and this is just a this is just a quick tip for you. If you don't wanna blitz day one, like if you don't wanna just go for that and, and you wanna blitz day one, then what I wanna encourage you to do is play more coverage based defense, play more loop pressures like LB cross or um, LB cross three out of the nickel two for five odd is always a good defense. You know, play more defenses like that. Play a little bit more chess. Learn the matching principles. And I actually think what you're going to see is you are, you are as, a, as an offensive player, you are going to, or I'm sorry, as a defensive player, you are literally going to rely on your standard four down lineman rush, three down lineman rush even more because they're going to make the defensive line better in this year's game than it already was really good at 20 I think they're going to make it even better um, especially you what, what I would say defensively strategy wise get get as many pass rush elite players or like players with abilities on the defensive side of the ball uh, with your with your team abilities again are in the game abilities are going to drive the game because those x-factor players are going to be able to do special things on the field Chris Jones for example on the Chiefs 100% the reason I choose the Chiefs like, I don't think the Chiefs are actually the best team if they don't have Chris Jones. But the fact that they have Chris Jones on their defense makes them the best team in Madden 20 because he can get pressure up the middle where nobody – where literally it's the best kind of pressure. It's right in the quarterback's face. Again, it's right there. So, anyways, guys, those are some of my predictions for Madden 21 on the defensive side of the ball. I'm, I am planning to use the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook I'm planning to start the season out in the nickel 335 package and then going in between and out of all the other packages as well. I really think you're going to see a return to more of like blitzing from depth. And blitzing is not everything of a defense, right? You're going to see um, a lot of people are going to like to use that zone drop mechanic as I throw a goose on offense. Um, but a lot of people will use that zone drop mechanic, which effectively is kind of like play the sticks it, it, it does play similar to that so but it's a, I mean it's a little bit better than play the sticks because you can kind of customize how deep you want them to go but this is going to help with crossing routes and different things like that you're not going to see as many big plays I think you're going to like defenses are going to be able to have the tools in their toolkit to force the offense to work the ball up the field as long as as long as the deep blue zones work the way they're supposed to, right? In Madden, you know, every year in Madden, cover threes and cover fours 
Um, don't always work the best. They don't always work the best way they're supposed to. Tampa 2 even doesn't always work the way it's supposed to 100%. But especially um, in Madden 19, cover 4, cover 2, all of those zones, they were not as good as they could have been. Um, and so that's, that's something that will be interesting to watch. Uh, with this next generation of consoles as well coming out and just with how the game plays because we know the game is going to play different on PlayStation 5 than it does play on PlayStation 4. Like I can already guarantee that. Um, that will happen. It happened when we switched to PS4. So anyways, guys, those are some of my predictions on the defensive side of the ball. If you really want to take your game to the next level and you really want to get better and get really planned up for Madden 21, make sure that you join my Discord. A link is in my description here of this video. And that alone, doing that one step, that one taking that one movement is going to help you like you've never believed because there are so many good players in there. And I have a saying, you are the average, average, you're the average of the five people that you associate with most in this world. If you want to get better in the Madden world, associate yourself with better people. We put that Discord together to kind of help set up. You can set up lab games, lab partners, all that kind of stuff. So be sure to pick that up. And also, if you're looking for an offense and a defense that you can run day one of Madden 21, make sure to pick up my Baltimore competitive bundle guide it's baltimore defense arizona offense and we are going through right now and continuing to update that for you um people who bought the guide have already received i think three updates and there is a fourth one on the way today so make sure to check out that guide it's really really good there's over 70 pages of breakdowns very detailed has everything you need in it and we're consistently updating it to get it better get it you take your feedback and make it even better for what we want it to be. So thanks for watching this video, guys. There's some more videos in the top of the screen here that are going to help you get ready and get better for Madden 21. And we will see you in one of those videos.